Hello friends, so today we will be designing two spring mass damper system model in Simulink. So the two equations of the two separate damper systems are given here. M1 X1 double dot, nothing but the integration is equal to K2 of X2 minus X1 plus D2 of X2 dot minus X1 dot minus K1 X1 minus D1 X1 dot. This represents uh, x1 or the graph for x1 and this the second equation represents the graph for x2 it is m2 x2 double dot is equal to f minus k2 into x2 minus x1 minus d2 of x2 dot minus x1 dot k2 r f are constants and the variables x2 x1 so we will be using the values of the variables general or random values of variables and check the nature of graph so since so this is the MATLAB window and I start the symbolic model by creating a blank one and we have the li our library functions of the symbolic so, so for this particular model, I'll be requiring an integrator block as we saw in the equation. So for that, I'll drag an integrator model. So I need another integrator as there is, as you can see. In the equation it has x1 double dot so double times integration so I'll connect this one first we'll be solving the below equation and later on we'll be connecting this one to the above equation so next I require a gain and double clicking you can put the value of the gain let us keep it 1 for time being and I'll connect this gain to this one now next we require add function add block so I'll go to math operations and get the add block. So in this second equation we require 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have two signals now and by double clicking we can put the number of signals we want. So I'll be requiring plus, minus, plus, minus, plus signs because as you can see here it is plus minus this will be minus after opening the bracket this will be again plus and finally it will be minus so for that i will put all the signs inside it i'll enlarge this add function so now connect this and over here and i require of my first constant value because of this f so f I'll put constant so for that I'll drag a constant block and connect it to the first one so later on I'll be requiring variables so for that I'll just drag this gain function So similarly I require 3 more gain, I will just press control and drag these outside. So I will connect the remaining blocks to this add function. So I will just name it 
for our reference so so this one is f k2 and another k2 d2 and d2 as you can see from this graph or this equation f k2 d2 and if we open this bracket we'll be getting these five variables so by double clicking we can put the values of the same so i'll consider value of f constant as 10 and the value of k2 as 5 and this one again it is k2 so 5 and the last two are for t2 and I consider the value of d2 again as 10 So I put on the values of the variables as well as I have mentioned the constant and now I will be requiring this set same set once again for my second equation so and again I will be requiring and gain function so I'll connect this one here and I require another add function so now for the first equation we have six positive signs plus minus plus minus 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 so the same thing I'll just implement it in this add block so we have plus minus plus minus 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 as in the equation so there are six and similarly you can see there are no constants in the right hand side so all are variables so I'll just drag one gain function from here and place it in front of these so I'll connect this one So now I have connected the internal part and final step is to connect the other end of these to the another so to the set of blocks. So we'll begin with the first one of the second equation. So it goes and and connect it over to the first one so, I'll, so, so before starting that I'll just put the values of these so these are represented as k2 the first block so the value of k2 I have considered it as 5 itself you can see it from this graph first two represents k2 the next two represents d2 and the final represents k1 and d1 respectively so i consider the value of k2 as 5 and similarly the next set is also 5 and third one is the d2 so for d2 i have 10 as i put in this equation as well so the next equation is again d2 so this is 10 again and the final is k1 so I'll consider k1 as 3 
and the value of d1 as 6. So I put all the values of these variables into my model. So I'll maximize this window. So now let's start the collection of the remaining circuit. So this one represents k2. So so k2 is multiplied with x2 as well as x1. So this one these two represents x2 and these two represents x1. So first I append this one to here and the next k2 I'll connect it to x2. So these two remaining gain blocks represents D2, one is connected to X2 dot and another is connected to X1 dot. So similarly I connect these equations as well. So this one D2 is connected to X2 dot. So I told these two represents X2 and this one represents X1. So this one is connected to X1 dot. So this is how it looks like. So we have connected the bottom equation now. Okay. So the first equation I connected all these values with respect to the equation. Now let's connect the other equation as well in similar manner. So the first one is k2 so in equation you can see k2 is connected to x2 as well as x1 and let's connect this k2 to first x2 so we know x2 is this one so let's bring it about this one okay K2 is also connected to X1. So this one gets connected to here. So we have connected K2 now and the next equation, next term in the equation is D2, which is connected to X2 dot and X1 dot. So this positive sign which is connected to X2 dot. We know this term represents X2 dot. and this one is connected to x1 dot so these are connected so and the final term in the equation is k1 and d1 which is connected to x1 and x1 dot respectively so this one represents k1 which is connected to x1 dot so we have x1 dot as this one and the final one is connected to x1 so connected to here so the connection all the connections are almost done let's just go through one, it once again if there are any missing connections so you can see all are connected and there are no loose connections so now the final step is to display the result so for that I'll just drag this code into this window and double click on this scope. So I'll do this one again. So here it asks number of input ports we want to because we need to display x1 as well as x2. So 
we got two lines so two input ports so I'll connect the first one to x1 and the other one to x2 so all connections have been done and let's run this one and check the graph so it got converted and let's check the nature of the graph so we can see this is how the equation for the graph looks like of the two damper two mass damper spring system so this one represents x1 and this one yellow color represents x2 so you can see at a particular point the uh, both the equations seems to be settled at this so this is how the graph of the two mass damper system spring system looks like blue represents x1 and yellow represents x2 particular point both of both the graphs seems to be settled so you can save this one by clicking this save and name it the extension of this file is dot slx so this was about the design of two mass damper spring system in simulink thank you